Going to the creek to get some rocks. That makes me happy. Patrick, what are you doing? Come back here when I'm talking to you. He's a real cow dog. Only cow dogs eat grass. Uh-oh, I know what that is. Brings back so many memories. Twas a good nest, she was. Going down to the creek. Hope can find, find lots, lots of rocks. rocks. Lots, lots of rocks. Of rocks. Oh, lots, lots of rocks. rocks. What am I saying? <sighs> wow, they have really good selection today. <gasps> Isn't that cold? You might freeze off your non-existent balls. <laughs> I love it down here. It's so beautiful and peaceful. I mean, look at this place. Look at it. Whoa, that's too fast, too fast. So let's see what we're working with here. What kind of shapes can we find today? Oh look, it's an ear. Hello. It's like, ah, oh, yeah, give me a Q-tip. This looks like a good one to skippity-doo-dah. Let's see if I can do it. Ooh. Yay! Whoa, that was awesome. Hmm, that's interesting. Feels like a, a rock. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> what are you? What? What? Do I, what you doing, Tear? What do I? What, what you doing, Tear? <laughs> Whoa! Look at this brick-shaped rock. Wow! My kids keep telling me that I'm not very funny. Hmm, I wonder why. <laughs> oh, I'm such a dad. Whoa, this is cool. Check that out. There's like the negative impression of where a fossil used to live. What is that? What is that, Becky? Ew. Well guys, I don't know if we're actually gonna be able to find a rock down here. I'm not seeing much that's worth carving. Oh my gosh. I think I found it. The rock the legend foretold. The rock of ancient. The rock that rocks. Oh goodness. I sure hope no one can hear me down there. They're gonna think some kind of murder is happening. So, I think we found our rock. Okay guys, we are back from the creek and we're gonna get to the carving in one second. But real quick, I would like to thank Honey for sponsoring today's video. You may be asking yourself, what is honey? Well, besides it being a delicious natural sweetener, it also makes for a deliciously decadent facial scrub and sweet shampoo. Honey is also a totally free tool that automatically searches the internet for the best promo codes for things you buy online. It's crazy easy to install with only two clicks. Just go to joinhoney.com forward slash Bobby Duke. It's like having an extreme couponer by your side to save you money on over 30,000 websites. For example, I was shopping at CVS Pharmacy to pick up a few personal items, and I ended up saving over $18. That's crazy. It's totally dadgum free and only takes two clicks to save money online. So click the link below, add Honey to your browser, or go to joinhoney.com forward slash Bobby Duke. Okay, back in my little shop. This project is going to be a little bit different, AKA simpler. I know sometimes I get a little crazy and the things I do seem a little bit advanced. It may look complicated, but really when you break down the steps, it's not going to be. It, like you can do this if you have a Dremel or some other kind of rotary carver, not sponsored by Harbor Freight or anything, but they sell one that's like 55 bucks. You guys, it works great. You know, I mean, I've had mine for years and years. I did upgrade to a Fordham, which is this thing right here, but the other one down there, I mean, honestly, it works almost just as well. It's just the Fordham's a little bit heavier duty. <laughs> duty. Okay, enough jib jabber blabber. Here's our little rogue. What I'm wanting to do is sort of a, uh, <laughs> dang it, ouch. Let me just draw it. Oh, <laughs> 
Now that our design is drawn on, you can see kind of where I'm going with this. The first tool I'm going to use is one of these disc diamond bear thingy doos. I'm going to make the black areas recessed. The way I'm going to do that, like I just said, is I'm going to use one of these and, you know, I might also use one like this. I'm not even sure what you'd call it. Doohickey shaped to also go in there, get some of that. Once I've got the outline taken care of, I'm going to try and recess this. I'm not even sure which ones I'm going to use. Maybe one of these or one of these. I don't know. You know what? I might use one of these. These flat looking things. I'll probably use that to go in there, you know, and make that recessed. I'm also going to be making a stand to hold the carving and it's going to be <laughs> resin. Oh yeah, I'm going there. Okay, let's get to carving now. <laughs> Here's how we have it at the moment. You can see it's looking pretty good. That is about all I'm gonna do on the carving part. I told you it's gonna be a little bit simpler and this may look really complicated, but really, all I did was carve some little channels and grooves into it, but it is not done, oh no. Let's cast my hand holding it with resin. So come with me and I'll show you. This stuff comes in a powder form and it's just a one-to-one -one water mixture. So first step, just gonna pour this into here, a touch mall, uh, maybe just a touch, just a touch. See, that's how you mix it. Works perfectly. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, there we go. Let's taste it. That tastes about right. Actually, I don't taste it. I don't know if this is safe to consume. Oh, poop. God damn it. These are new pants. So, okay, this is, I'm nervous. I'm nervous, honey. I meant honey, my wife, not, I'll call you honey. And you're gonna wanna plunge it in and then kind of move your hands all over the place. Get, make sure it's like really good and covering everything. Like that. And then you just gotta hope for the best. Let's go inside so it, so it doesn't get cold. There. Uh, is my butt shot? No. Okay. <laughs> Maybe a little at the end. <laughs> well, this is exciting. Starting to solidify. You can feel it like it kind of grabs hold. Hi, kitchen. Would you like some help? Do you just want to smell my breath? Oh, hi. Oh, um... <laughs> oh, <good. laughs> oh God. Yes, thank you. They know I'm vulnerable. Yeah, they're coming back. <laughs> that is, that is. Furry balls of cuteness. All right, it's been maybe five minutes and it is nice and set up almost like a rubber. So what you gotta do is you gotta just very slowly wriggle around and try to release your hand. Let that air kind of get down to the bottom because it's creating a suction. If you pull it out too fast, you can distort the mold. I don't want that. It's coming. It's coming. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Fart some air in behind your hand. Like that. <laughs> I wasn't joking. Come on. <laughs> okay. And it's born. Okay. Now let's uh, look down in there. You can see that is the hole we'll be pouring the resin into. 
I like it because it's squishy. All right, for the resin, I was gonna use epoxy resin, but I decided to go with polyester resin, mainly because it's a lot clearer. And I want this like crystal clear like glass. So I'm gonna go for about 24 ounces. When you drip, drop a whole buttload of this stuff in there, it's the catalyst or the activator. And then you mix it up and then you pour it. <laughs> so 24 ounces, here we go. And for every ounce, I need to add five drops of this stuff. So 24 times five, that is right, 24 times, that's four times four. Okay, let's start counting. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> Just, that's it, 120. Close enough. <laughs> Hopefully that doesn't mess up. Mix like you've never mixed before for about one minute. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh my god. You're so naughty. <laughs> now we pray to the gods of resin. Uh. I'm just gonna pour that on up to about there. Now we just wait and hope it doesn't suck. Do you think it'll suck? Okay. Two hours later. Is it on? Yes. What? What? What's wrong with my face? <laughs> Nothing. Just you sounded. It was just nothing. <laughs> You're making me all self-conscious. This should flop right on out of here if I can kind of wiggle this, kind of get it loose from its environment. Oh, yeah, it's coming loose. Let's try and massage this. Oh, well, that's very nice. Ooh, it's like, ooh, that's really hot. Man, I hope this turns out okay. Try to tear this. <laughs> you look like a strong young pup. Why don't you give it a good tear? We're just gonna open it on up there. And hopefully... That looks gross. Feels really weird. That's nasty. I just hope it still, so far. still has the rock. Oh no. What? It doesn't. <laughs> well, this didn't exactly go as I planned. They're like jiggly. Well, hmm. It almost sort of definitely kind of worked exactly as I planned. Let me show you. All right, the hand cast perfectly, as you can see, but the rock fell out during the casting process, and that's actually a good thing because I wanted to do something to this anyways. I wanna make this a little bit more contrasty. I'm gonna go ahead and on all the high spots, put some of the Total Boat Marine Spar Varnish Gloss on there. <laughs> like that. They were really kind enough to send me a bunch of stuff. I'm gonna try it on this. Then once that's done, we're gonna poop that in there so the hand can hold it. Let's do that. Alright guys, thank you once again for making it to the end of the video. I had a blast making this. And remember, you can make this too. Also, please go and check out my sponsor, Honey. It's because of awesome sponsors like them that I get to do this full time. And it's a big help when you guys go and check it out. I'm gonna try to get two, maybe three videos out next month. We'll see how it goes. So if you want to see those videos, you need to subscribe to my channel. Also, on a serious note, I would like to dedicate this video to my Uncle Jim. He was an amazing man that I loved very much. I really wish you all could have known him. I love you, Uncle Jim. You'll be in my heart always.